topping the news at 6 tonight, a Davenport police say one person was injured in a shooting that occurred near the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds Friday night. Good evening, I'm Evan Denton. Our own Kyle Bells went there today to learn how you can stay safe at the fair. I am standing here at the parking lot of the Mississippi Valley Fair, where late last night, police responded to reports of gunshots right across the street from here. I spoke to the sheriff on the fairgrounds to talk about what they are doing for safety and security for fairgoers this year. I'm sure that people feel uneasy about incidents that occur like this close to the fairgrounds. Having more security and more law enforcement is what makes the grounds more safe. When speaking to fairgoers today, it appears the evening is when incidents are more likely to occur. Some choose to avoid those hours, while others trust increased presence of law enforcement, whether they are in uniform or in plain clothes. Another way to combat potential problems is to start at the entrance. After 9 o'clock, the fair is only opening the gates to people with fun cards. We may move that time frame forward so that it is more like 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock so that we can stay ahead of the curve of the individuals that are coming into the fairgrounds. They are paying cash to come here one time to act up and be thrown out of here. So far, these methods have proven to be successful, but the sheriff says they are always learning new ways to keep the fairgrounds secure. We're going to make adjustments if we have to, and we're going to continue to make this place safe. With safety, the topic of discussion, and storms in the forecast for the Quad Cities, it is important to stay informed of approaching storms and to avoid the fairgrounds if storms are imminent. However, for workers and fairgoers that may have to ride it out, there are still ways to remain safe. There's several buildings that are on the grounds here that are very large. Uh, they are permanent buildings, they're permanent structures, and those are the ones that people should choose to go inside. The sheriff encourages the public to come to the fair this weekend. The Mississippi Valley Fair runs through Sunday night. Reporting at the Mississippi Valley Fair in Davenport, Kyle Bales, TV6 News. And now let's change over.